Hey guys, welcome to DevTech Finance. In this video, we would be learning about whistleblower. This video is a part of business ethics module, so I recommend you to watch all other related videos to get a better understanding on the whole topic. Here in this video, we would be talking about who is a whistleblower, types of whistleblower, and Whistleblower Protection Act. So let's start with the term whistleblowing. It originated from the practice of British policemen who blew their whistles whenever observed commission of a crime. So it's very clear from where this term originated and why it has been used. Now let's see whistleblower is any person who opens up complaints and report the concealed misconduct. Concealed means any hidden misconduct which is going inside organization. Illegal and unethical activities happening in the organization. So any person who is complaining, who is opening up the concealed, uh, the concealed misconduct and uh, unethical, illegal behavior going inside the organization, all those persons will be referred as whistleblower. Now, you see, since these persons are going against the organization, they are talking about big businesses, big corporates, they are opening up their alley wrongdoing, they are opening up their uh, wrongdoing. So, this becomes important to protect this kind of person because uh, whistleblowers are uh, helping in, uh, uh, in good of the country and thus they need to be protected. And for this very reason, laws are enacted to protect whistleblower from retaliation by the concerned parties because mainly these concerned parties are those who are generally in power uh, and thus they are doing frauds and they are doing all those unethical behavior and nothing actions are not being taken against them because it is not being opened in the, it is not uh, opened in the whole uh, scenario. So, Whistleblower Protection Act came. It provides provisions put in place in order to protect someone who exposes alleged wrongdoing. And this Protection Act was necessary because uh, whistleblowers were generally in fear of uh, these uh, people in power for about, the, about whom they were talking about. They were talking about their misconduct and thus they were having a fear of their uh, uh, a fear of their life and their job and other things and thus uh, it became necessary to have such an act. Now the misconduct may take form of fraud or corruption which is against law and it's not necessary that whatever whistleblower has said uh, about any organization that there has to be taken at a very small level. It may take form of fraud or corruption in an organization at a larger level Thus, it was necessary to safeguard one who works in good for the com country and to take actions against those people. Now, see, there are different types of whistleblower. First is external whistleblower. So, if uh, the person who reports misconduct about uh, the organization to any outside person, such as media or government, so those will be referred as external whistleblower because they are uh, they are opening up, they are complaining to the external uh, external media or government. So, they are referred as this. Internal whistleblower are those who reports about the misconduct happening in the organization to another person who are there in the same organization. So, it is happening inside the organization. Thus, they are referred as internal whistleblower. Third is government whistleblower. These are those people who are government employees and they are and they are given task to reveal illegal or fraud uh, happening in the organization. Then there are corporate whistleblower. These are the employees of corporations and businesses that disclose statutory or regulatory violation by the employer. So if the employer is doing something wrong, it is not doing fair practices or going by the principles. So if they are, uh, if these employees of corporations are disclosing about them, they would be referred as corporate whistleblower. Thank you for watching. Do like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel, Dave Take Finance. Thank you all.